Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be working on the bug. I got a high pressure oil pump from CB Performance and this cover plate allows me to have external oil lines going to this, which is going to have an external oil filter spin on style like a traditional any other car. Because the bug right now just has a mesh screen on the bottom of the pickup tube. That's the only thing filtering the oil and that is not good enough for me. So let's get all this stuff on, see how it looks. Alright, so I just got back from the store. Uh, CB Performance doesn't provide any hoses. They provide two fittings when you get this um, this oil filter housing. Um, but these are half inch bar, and then the this guy is a quarter inch pipe. So there's no way you can go quarter to half unless you get like a crazy adapter fitting. And I didn't want to order that. So I got three eighths all around. So I have three eighths hose bar. Uh, and then 3 8 toes should be fine. This is oil rated, but I always like all morning getting this stuff because every store only has one piece, which is awesome. Alright, so I had the camera charging there for a second. I was cleaning up the oil pump and uh, I realized that I got the wrong oil pump. So the camshaft on my engine, oh my little microphone fluffy's getting in the way. There we go. Yeah, so my camshaft is the three rivet with like a little bit of a dish in it, but apparently it's not dished enough to be the dished camshaft with the four bolts. But honestly, I didn't even look, I just ordered it because it's the year, but that's my mistake. So now I gotta saran wrap this up, send it back. Luckily, I just talked to CB Performance. I only have to send the main pump assembly. I can keep my front case because I just put some fittings in it. So I don't wanna pull those out, but uh, I'm gonna send this back. And the new pump is right here. So this actually took uh, way longer than I thought to get in, so I'm pretty tired. I just got off a night shift, and I have another one in the morning. I'm going to put you all on time lapse, get the bug all back together, get these hoses plugged in, filled up with oil, and uh, we'll see how she runs. So I'm going to put the camera down, get you on time lapse, we'll get to it.
here we are everything's all back together the hoses fit pretty nice in there they are a little tight but nothing is nothing's really rubbing yet oh. I might have to get some some heat tubing or something to go around both of those oil lines or otherwise but for now I think we're okay got that heat wrap on the exhaust I'm going to sleep. <coughs> I'm tired. I'm going to sleep. I'll put some oil on this once the RTV sets up. Alright, I'm back. It's been another night shift. Uh, I went to Tacoma Screw, got some hardware. This is the bolt that CB Performance provides. And this is my new bolt. You can see that it's substantially longer. It's uh, 15 millimeters longer. There's a light right behind me. Jesus Christ, I'm filming bad. And now I'm dropping stuff. It's alright, I got two. So the silver CB performance bolt is a 30 mil bolt. The black one here is a 40. Is that right? I don't know. I've been awake a long time. I'm gonna get the longer bolt in. Just clamp it a lot better. And then no more leak. Cause this CB performance bolt was only engaging like two threads and then it pulled them out. And I couldn't get a good torque on it. So this should engage a lot of threads and we should be good to go. I'll be right back. like it. Nice. It's not a very good angle with the exhaust in there, but we got no leaks. If you look down from here, you can see kind of the tips of the new hardware on the black hardware there. <coughs> but yeah. New hardware is clamping super good. <coughs> Seems like we're leak free. I'm going to go for a quick test drive, confirm that we're leak free, and then, uh, yeah. Then we're done, so let's go for a test drive.
All right, well the exhaust is steaming a little bit, so I think I got that a little oily maybe. <clears throat> Other than that though, I don't think we got any leaks. Yep, everything's dry underneath, sweet. All right, everybody, well there you have it. I got no more flickering oil light at idle, which is awesome. I have uh, probably about a half a quart more oil capacity than before, but most importantly, I have a 10 micron oil filter now. That screen in there, I mean, that thing can hardly even catch a piece of sand. So to have a 10 micron oil filter, Wix Racing, I mean, that thing's gonna catch everything. Honestly, I should probably change it in like 100 miles. Now that, you know, let it get through a couple of heat cycles, burn out some all that, burn out a lot of that gunk and catch it all on the oil filter there. Um, Cause it's never had one before. So I'm gonna keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't leak in the next week or so, but I, it looks awesome. You know, I drove it around, drove it around, got it nice and warm, totally leak free. Everything's nice and dry, so I'm super happy with it. And uh, yeah, super happy with it. So I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.